Hey everyone, welcome back to new content of Cyproses. In today's video, we will discuss about the asset model creation as well as automation of asset. So to manage with the asset model and its automation, let's dive into the accounting module and head up into the configuration menu where you can choose asset models under the management. So asset models are the templates of the asset and here you can find the name of this model and under the depreciation method we can just use a different depreciation method such as straight line declining declining then straight line and we can also set the durations uh, in terms of months as well as in terms of year as well as we can also choose the computations that can be no prorata constant periods based on days per period afterwards we can also set certain accounting details such as the company so this as in model comes under my company san francisco and we can also set a depreciation account as well as expense account and this comes under miscellaneous operation so the depreciation account is set as fixed account fixed accounts uh, do a systematic way to track the values and manage the company's long term asset and the depreciation account uh, or uh, the depreciation reflects the decline in the asset value over time due to wear and tear so the depreciation of the asset is uh, rounded as an expense and that will be set in the expense account also and we can say that it's a cumulative effect which is reflected in the cumulative depreciation amount and which reduces the asset book value so let's see how this is managed so while we are sitting with the depreciation account we can also just manage with its automation so under the automation here you can see that uh, the automation uh, of the asset like we can just create in draft so whenever we just create a bill and when we just validate the bill when we set it as create in draft the automation will be 10 over day like setting the asset in the draft and when we just set it as create and validate then whenever we just confirm or validate the bill the asset will be created and validated or it will be in draining state and here you can also find a field called manage items so when this field is checked and we have assets with multiple item then all those assets will be treated as separately and while you are just managing with the asset automation we also just need to set the asset model over here so currently i'm going to set it as hp laptop and i just need to create the automation in draft so here you can already find the balance over here now let's move on to the vendor bill so before moving on to the vendor bill let's move on to the accounting tab and let's choose the assets over here so here you can see currently everything is uh, uh, i mean we don't have any data over here now let's move on to the accounting now let's move on to the vendor bills and let's create a bill so let me just create a new bill uh, by setting the details of the vendor and it is mandatory to set the bill date so i'm going to choose the uh, bill date over here let it be on 1st of august and uh, uh, we can also choose the product which is hp laptop and here we just need to set the fixed asset account then only it will be affected so we have set the account as fixed asset over there and you can just save this and confirm so as you just confirm over here, you can see an asset is created in its draft state as we set the automation as create in draft. And here you can see that. So every details is shown over here. So we have already discussed about uh, the computations and calculations of assets in the previous video. So if you don't know the depreciation method as well as the computations of the asset, you can just watch that video and make thorough with the computations and calculations of uh, asset management in order 17 accounting okay now uh, let's move on to the depreciation account and let's create the other one uh, so if you want to just confirm this you can confirm and you can see that now currently it's in its uh, running mark i mean running state now let's again move on to the depreciation account and let me change the um, automation into create and validate in uh, uh, draft I mean not in draft create and validate so let's validate this and let's move on to the vendor bill and under the bills we can just create a new bill and let me uh, choose a bill which is uh, with the vendor decorate where you can just 
fill out the details of uh, um, uh, the bill, like the date and all. So let me just say the date and all. And here you can just choose the product, which is HP laptop, and it's mandatory to set the yeah account as fixed asset. Then only it comes under the depreciation, or the depreciation will be marked over there. So let me set the quantity as five. And in the order line, you can see that we have five quantity. And upon the confirmation of this bill here, you can see that um five assets will be created as we just enable uh, to manage the item and you can see that over here so here you can see the assets is created separately as we just uh, enable that field and when you just choose any one of the fields here you can see it's already validated and it's in its running states that's how we just manage with the automations and we can also just manage the asset by manually creating at all so this is all about the um asset model and automations of the assets in Odoo 17 accounting module and that's all about this video so thank you for watching